Sassy Lass was her usual consistent self here at Tirapa Racing, taking out race three on the card. Andrew, she has really found a purple patch of form, hasn't she? Yeah, she's been amazing. The team's done a great job with her, just keeping the gas in her and you know, coming out of a winter and you quite often you just don't see them sort of you know, work through into the summer months. But uh, to see her you know, quicken on the quick ground there, uh, it's really encouraging going forward into the early, you know, late part of the spring and early part of summer. So uh, she's got confidence a high um, and she just keeps on producing. It's just a, a really good team effort how the, the team have just kept her, kept her together and you know, kept her confidence high because she's a filly that's come right through from Maidens and uh, she's only had one small blip and uh, she's through to open company. So not many horses do it, but uh, we're very proud of it. Talking about moving forward, does she head down to Rickerton? Uh, all going well. Um, hopefully Lance agrees with us and we're, uh, we're all down there. We don't want a trip away, do we, Katie? <laughs> oh, we love a trip away. Uh, it's been well documented, Lance, this last week, the retirement of Dragon Leap. But tell me a bit about Dragon as a horse and just how his demeanour and why he was so special to the team. Look, I, I think he was such a special horse because he was um, half human. You know, he'd walk around the the uh, stabling arena, you know, some days, you know, he I shouldn't say it, but you know, he, he would just follow the attendant and uh, she could send him to the races with a five-year-old kid. And the horse would walk around the parade, never jig jog, walk with his head on the ground about two feet behind the, the young one. And that's the sort of horse he was. He just didn't have a bad bone in his body. His owners, Hermitage Thoroughbreds, they're fantastic in that they've got a property where they'll send their retired horses post-racing, but the, the small problem that he have, you know, he can still trek around the farm and, and enjoy a great life post-racing, so wonderful that he's been enabled to stay back at Wexford. Yeah, that, that's correct. You know, in the past when they've retired, we've, we have retired their horses, they've flown them over to Australia to their property, which is... Um it's like the Hilton, if you like. The horses, you know, they want for nothing. But uh, he was one horse we actually approached him to see if we could keep him here because he was so special to everybody. And uh, he'll retire at Wexford. The only other horse was uh, the great Mr. Tiz, and he lived to the ripe old age of 28 before he was found dead one morning in the paddock. So, um, you know, Dragon will certainly live out all of his years, and he'll, he'll want for nothing. He'll be certainly sport. That's a fantastic story. Best of luck for the rest of the day. Thank you, Katie.